I found that it's best to have them print them in this direction. It seems to give you cleaner lines here. There's no supports. If you print it this way, there'll be supports in there and inside the hole. So if you print it like this, it makes for a nice clean print. It will put supports inside the hole here, which are easily removed, and also inside this hole. But those are easily removed too. So if you just print it like that, works real good. Okay, so here we have it installed. Um, it seems to be holding fairly well. It's not quite as sturdy as the magnetic base would be. But we'll see how it does uh, doing some machining. I think there will be a lot of people out there that might find this uh, little modification useful. If you got a 3D printer, you can print these little attachments out. I'm going to turn it on and run it. We'll see what kind of uh, vibration we get from just running the fly cutter here. Alright, let's turn the spindle on. see what kind of vibration we're getting from this camera it looks okay right here but we're not doing any kind of cutting well it seemed to be okay but we're not doing any kind of cutting I imagine there's gonna be a little vibration like this but we'll see if it doesn't work out we can go back to the magnetic base See how it mounts up? Works pretty good. Then I can just release this and detach it. And leave this on here. It's got this uh, 3M tape on the back of this little connector here. And then I can snap it in whenever I get ready to do some video. So that wraps up this video. For those interested in this little uh, coat hanger mod, I'm going to upload these files to Thingiverse, and I'll have a link in the description in the video below. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions or questions, please feel free to comment. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, stop by and visit the website, and most importantly, be safe.